Okay, graphing a line by first finding its slope and y-intercept. So it's the same thing as before, except now I have to use this information to draw. Before I can do that, we need to learn something about slope. Slope is going to be your rise over your run. So it's going to be your movement of going up or down, depending on if it's positive or negative, and then always run forward to the right. You could um, go backwards, but then it creates a different, like the opposite rise, so it gets a little confusing. So I never try to teach both, I just teach to run forward and you should be able to get the line. Um, and so depending on the sign, it's only going to tell you whether to go up or down, but always 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 run forward okay and remember if you don't have a fraction you can make it a fraction by putting it over one so let's go ahead and solve this for y and see what our slope and y intercept looks like so I get negative 12 X and a positive 3 divide everybody by negative 3 this would become a positive 4 X and this will become a negative 1 so my slope is 4 and my y-intercept is a negative 1. Now I can write my slope as 4 over 1. So I know that I have to run forward 1 unit and because it's a positive 4, I'm going to go up 4 units. Okay, so where do we start though? You start at your y-intercept. So my y-intercept is here at negative 1 and then from there I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3, Four, and then go over to the right one and I land here at this point one comma three and that's all you need Alex will draw the points for you if you use that line icon all you have to do is put the little X on the negative one Y intercept and then if you count your movements and you put the X at the other spot it'll graph the line for you now, similar, it's just another example. We're gonna go ahead and solve this one. So we get 6y positive 6y equal to positive 2x and positive 24 divide by six. I get y equals um, 1 third x when you reduce and four. So the y-intercept is four and the slope is 1 third. Now, if the slope is one third, that means it's positive, so we're gonna go up one, always run forward, but since the bottom is three, you're gonna go three units in that direction. So y-intercept is positive four, so mark your point there. From there, go up one and over one, two, three, to make the second point. And now you have your line. The only thing that changes if your slope happens to be negative is that instead of going up, you would go down. However, you always go to the right.